Good morning, buenos dias. Her campaign might be over, but Vivian Moreno is still knocking on doors in her district and dropping off flyers. We're going to have a huge cleanup on the 27th at 9 a.m. in Memorial. We're going to have a barbecue and raffle prizes, get to know the community type of deal. Her flyers also have her office phone number and instructions on how to report issues to the city. Soy la regidora. Mi nombre es Vivian Moreno. She strikes up a conversation with another resident about curb paint and promises to pass on his complaint. Nos vamos a comunicar con Streets Division para decirles que, que lo quiten. Later in the day, Moreno attends a graduation ceremony for Workshops for Warriors, a nonprofit in Barrio Logan that trains veterans to be welders and machinists. And we're confident that the time and energy you've invested here at Workshop for Warriors will deliver you a, pros a prosperous and rewarding future. Moreno had a tough campaign. She's a Democrat, but the county Democratic Party still put out attack ads suggesting she was a Trump sympathizer, which she definitely is not. Oh, my certificate of, of election as well as my certificate of appointment. She won the election last November over another Democrat by just 549 votes. That slim margin keeps her humble. Well, one of the things that I heard is uh, on the campaign trail walking 8,000 doors was you guys only come out when you guys need something, when you guys want to vote. That's when you guys come out. So I committed to going out to the community, introducing myself uh, to the residents. Congratulations, Councilmember Moreno. Thank you. Moreno's transition to council member was smoother than some. She already worked in City Hall in the District 8 office for former city councilman David Alvarez. Her former boss had a rocky relationship with Mayor Kevin Faulkner, but she says her relationship with the mayor is different. It has been fantastic. I have to say, um, we we got along, we get along really well. Um, I'm a very straight shooter, and I think he appreciates that. Um, I'm not afraid to say, hey, I, I'm not going to agree with you on this, but we could work on, you know, other things. Uh, but no, it's been really good. One area of collaboration is housing. Moreno chairs the council's Land Use and Housing Committee and recently advanced a proposal from the mayor that aims to incentivize middle-income housing. She put her own stamp on the proposal with suggested amendments. Moreno says San Diego has to build more homes for future generations. My nieces and nephews are, are part of that population, and it behooves me to make sure that we enact uh, changes, uh, sweeping changes, that, that reforms that will uh, help build more housing. Because essentially we are in the housing crunch that we are in right now because of the policy from, uh, from people that governed before us. Last week, Moreno also voted to advance a new prohibition on people living in cars. In her comments, she asked the mayor's office to limit new homeless services in her district. But she didn't address concerns brought up in public testimony that the proposal would further criminalize homelessness and poverty. I ask her why. I represent District 8, and the calls and the emails uh, that we're getting, um, my, um, my response uh, or my comments that day and my vote that day reflect um, what my uh, constituents have asked of me. Do you see people who are homeless who stay in District 8 as your constituents? Um, they do not reside in District 8, so I would say no. Whose constituents are they? I'm not sure. One thing she is sure of is a feeling of responsibility toward young Latinas. Last week, she took part in a foot washing ceremony for Holy Week at her church in Logan Heights. There was a young girl, like literally like nine years old, who was washing my feet. And I just thought like I, 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 I owe her to be, you know, a good role model and to strive to always do the best for her future. Right. And that's something that um, also I, I hold of importance in my heart. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.